Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. We actually have a reservation for Disneyland, so that's where we're gonna be heading today. Uh, today's also Tuesday, which means new pin release day. So I'm really excited to see you know what new pins we can find, as well as like what other new merch we can find. We haven't been here since Thursday, I think. So I'm really excited to see you know what we'll find. So as I mentioned, today's Tuesday, and this is how the crowds are looking to get inside the park right now. It is currently 8:09, and about 15 minutes later, we're in the park. Look, there goes. I think it's Chip. I can't see his nose. That's how I always tell if it's Chip or Dale, it's by the nose. It's Chip. So I know we usually start at the Emporium, but today I decided to come to Disney Showcase and show you guys a few new new emo outfits. This is part of the character mix-up collection. Man, they're getting fancy with all this new emo stuff. <laughs> 12 dollars for this one. And they have this one with a beanie and a flannel. Pretty cool. Twelve ninety nine, and then they have this one with a beanie. Whoops. There you go. Twelve ninety nine, and then I think this is the last one, and it comes with a bucket hat. If you look carefully; it's a bunch of stitches. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. They also have a little deal going on. So Noemi's outfits and accessories is ten dollars each when you buy three. I'm not sure how old this windbreaker is, but it's pretty cool. Look at that. Disneyland. Look at the head. This is nice. This jacket is, let's see, $69.99. And it looks like they currently only have sizes medium and extra large. But anyways, we just finished up with Disney Showcase, and now we're gonna be heading to our favorite store, the Emporium. Man, I wish I was a kid. <laughs> Look at this awesome Mandalorian spirit jersey, or Grogu and Mandalorian spirit jersey. Choose your path. Choose your path. It says the same thing in two different colors. Um, man, this is nice. I like it. Some Star Wars in the front and like puffy paint. Uh, sizes range from an extra small to an XL in kid sizes, and this spirit jersey is forty nine ninety nine. So that spirit jersey is basically like the newest thing in here. They do have the new pins, but I can't tell which ones are new because there's so many of them in the display case. So we're gonna go across the street to 20th Century Music Company and check out the new pins. So here's a look at all the new pins. They have a new Princess Tea Party pin. This one's themed to Pocahontas. This pin retails for $19.99. And then they have this Our Transformation Story pin. This one's $19.99. Then they have a new floating down Main Street USA pin. This was themed to Peter Pan. $19.99. And I think the best pin that dropped today was this Haunted Mansion pin. This thing is awesome. It even glows in the dark, which I wish I could show you guys, but it's too bright outside. But this one is $34.99 in case you're interested. That Haunted Mansion pin was pretty cool. I was, I was like this close to wanting to buy it, but I don't need any more pins. I'm good. <laughs> but anyways, we're over here in China Closet, and look, they have two new mugs in stock. So they have this Bell one. Hot liquid reveals hidden art. Break the spell. This one is $19.99. Oh, so I guess when you put the hot liquids, it reveals like the rose petals. Look, see, you can't see them here, but in the, this picture you can. This one's nice, but I like this one even more. It says my happy place. And then on the other side, it's got Cinderella in the castle. This one's $16.99. But besides that, there's basically everything new on Main Street today. So we just made our way to Tomorrowland, where we're gonna check out what's new at the Star Trader. So we're here near the entrance, there's this Groot. I'm not sure what it does, but it says I'm Groot. This one is, I have no idea. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, it still doesn't say how much it is. Let's see what we can find out what it does though. Oh, it's a bubble wand. What? That's cool. Wow. I don't know who's gonna wanna walk around with, you know, a pot <laughs> and then, you know, have a bubble one. But I mean, I guess it looks cool. Like it's cool for like a desk or something, but I don't know about walking around the park with it. What do you guys think? Let me know. Check out this pretty cool Star Wars shirt. Shirt is by Heroes and Villains and it retails for $49.99. And looks like sizes range from an extra small to a, oh wow, 3X. 
I almost forgot to show you guys what's on the back. It's nice. I like this one. They also have this black and brown hoodie. Here, look at the back. And then here's a look at the front. I think the colors are nice. I think it, I think it works. Uh, this one retails for whoops, uh, $59.99, and sizes range from an extra small to a 2XL. Oh man, this this Darth Vader hat's pretty cool. Look at that. There's Darth Vader on the side. I wish it was a different style hat though, but like I like the 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 graphic on there. This hat retails for $29.99. It also looks like they have a brand new 500 piece puzzle set. It's a four pack. And here are the different puzzles you can make. And it looks like it retails for $34.99. So you can also find that pretty cool Mandalorian Spirit jersey for kids here at the Star Trader. Just in case you can't find it at the Emporium, you can, like I said, also find it here. And lastly, they have this pretty cool Darth Vader shirt for kids. It's got the Death Star on it. Darth Vader with his lightsaber. This shirt retails for $24.99 and sizes range from an extra small to an XL in kid sizes. Man, I love watching the Mark Twain pass by. So beautiful. Very slow, <laughs> but beautiful. So we spent our way over here to Port Royal, and obviously I don't wear dresses, but <laughs> this is a nice one. Look at that. It's got Madame Miota on there, bats, the hat box goes. It's nice. Here's the back. Uh, let me see how much it retails for. It looks like it's $128. I feel like I ride this ride way too much, but I'm a sucker for a five minute wait. Man, the Winnie the Pooh ride is so great. Like, it's good for hot days, and then also if you just want to rest your feet, it's a good way to like just sit down and chill for a little bit. So we ended up doing a quick walk through a food corner, and I want to say these are new Crocs. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Uh, these are, let me see. I'm not seeing a price. <laughs> I think they're usually like $59.99 or something like that. But in case you're looking for them, you can find them here at Food Corner. But anyways, I think for our next stop, we're going to be leaving Disneyland and heading to Batu to see uh, the current stock of lightsabers as well as if we can find anything else new. So we just got inside of Doc Ondar's and check this mug out. I've never seen this one before, but it looks really cool. Looks like it's like carving a stone and stuff. This is, this is awesome. A lot of detail. Smug is $27.99 and it's, it's a decent size. But besides that new mug or the mug I think is new, here's a look at the current lightsabers they have in stock. They have Dark Saber, they have Count Dooku, they have Sidious's lightsaber, Darth Maul, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, Ben Solo, they have Cal Kessis, they have Ahsoka Tano, they have Rey's lightsaber, the Reforged Skywalker, they have Luke and Leia, they have the Asajj Ventress lightsaber, and then they have this newer one, this is Plo Koon's lightsaber, this is $159.99. The only thing that I'm not a big fan of is it looks exactly like the Luminar lightsaber hilt, which they still have that in stock as well over there. But that was basically your updated look at all the lightsaber hilts they have here at Doc Ondar's. Um, I was kind of bummed out when I saw Plo Koon's because like, at first I was kind of excited about it and then it showed up, I checked it out and I was like, it looks exactly like Luminara's, which has like a little bit of differences, but it's basically the same hilt. All right guys, but anyways, we ended up leaving Galaxy's Edge and now we're back in Disneyland. Uh, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.